lobster. It is Belize's primary fisheries commodity that generates over $30 million annually. And for seafood lovers the world over, a delectable shellfish that is prepared in various ways. But a combination of factors has depleted the healthy stocks to a dwindling amount that could thrust the country's revenues from this important marine product into jeopardy. Belize is, has, is experiencing um, a fishing effort level that is not sustainable at this time. And we think that um, this is as a result of um, other sectors, economic sectors, um, not performing particularly well. And uh, that is why you have a number of fishers uh, joining the, the industry. It is important for the government to uh, put in place management measures that will prevent us or avoid uh, uh, going into overfishing of a, a very important uh, fishery resource. Acting Fisheries Administrator Rigoberto Quintana of the Belize Fisheries Department told News 5 that one of the factors has been high demand on the international market. Mostly the production is linked to the export market. Um, ah. And you saw the prices last year for the, for the lobster was up to $36 okay. a pound, compared to Kongs is like $14 a pound. And okay. there's a high demand and the high price of fish will, will increase those um, fishing pressures on, on, on lobster commodities. Dr. Kendra Carr, a senior scientist with the Fishery and Oceans Program, told us that they have analyzed inputs from technicians in various parts of the country to come up with a plan to salvage the industry. Someone from Ternef Atoll has a different interpretation or might have a different uh, idea of what we're seeing compared to someone from down in Punta Gorda. So we took all the information of the experts that are in the room to really get an idea of what's been happening with the fishery over time in order to make some recommendations. While the recommendations have not been made public, it is thought that patrolling the seas is one of the most effective methods to deter illegal overfishing. But with the scaling up of fuel prices, fisheries officer Maura Gongora says that costly boat patrols are one of the main challenges. There's, not, there's always not enough resources to, to do that. And so that is the reason why we depend on the support and the co cooperation of our management partners. Uh, to help us to do that. Um, fuel is, is an issue, um, not just for, for Belize Fisheries Department, but for others um, who assist us. But it's, it's a collaborative effort that we um, need to do and continue to strengthen so that we could achieve the, the objectives. There's lots of ways to regulate fishing effort, but the country of Belize and the, the minister need to think about ways to actually fit Belize, the Belize context. What the team will do is prepare the recommendations during this time, preceding the opening of the lobster season later this year. We hope that in October um, we should have an industry meeting to discuss all these recommendations coming out. So it's not something that overnight we'll be taking decisions. Reporting for News 5, I'm Marion Ali.